Morning guys, morning, morning, morning. So if this camera looks different, <laughs> um, I've had quite the week. My phone, who, which I've only had six months, absolutely died on me. Just melted battery everywhere. It stunk, it was terrible. Not the biggest Samsung fan. I'm hoping they're gonna fix it and send us another phone. For now I have a new stylo. And I kind of like the phone. I need to tweak the video settings, though, because I look kind of yellow. But tonight, we are doing for Sunday dinner, Kim Tai's chicken thighs. So she posted a video, if you're not sure who Kim Tai is. She's one of my favorite vloggers. I love her and her best friend, Michelle. And she posted a video on how she does her chicken thighs in the air fryer. And I am going to... Do some similar ones so come along we're gonna make a risotto and some fried okra with it tonight so sounds delicious come along okay so we are working on the risotto over here where we've already caramelized some onions now Stephanie fried up, some bacon. fried up some bacon it's over to the side Stephanie is now um sauteing garlic yep sauteing garlic she's gonna put the risotto in and Yep, to toast it, and then we're going to slowly add in our chicken broth. If you've ever made a risotto, you know it's all about slowly adding your liquids and just letting it all soak up. If you don't make a risotto, we do a Parmesan bacon one that's really good. Um, I've also done an asparagus one that's excellent as well. Butternut squash, too. Squash was great. We've done a mushroom that is really good. There's so many risotto recipes that you can get online. A very, very versatile carbohydrate. Well, it's a grain, so I would call it a grain. A very versatile yeah, grain. Yeah, it's a rice. A boreal rice is what you want. Risotto rice is called a boreal rice. There you go. So, yeah, that's going to be our accoutrement or side to our Kim Thai chicken thigh. Okay, so I have four chicken thighs here. That's about what will fit in our air fryer. I'm going to add some olive oil or vegetable oil or whatever you have just to wet them to get the seasonings to stick. And then I'm going to season them. So I'm using garlic powder, chili powder, and onion powder to season these. And then I'm going to put them in my air fryer for 38 to 40 minutes. All right, so I have three, oh, I'm sorry, four beautifully seasoned chicken thighs. We're going to drop them right in the air fryer and let them fry up. We're just going to turn it on and leave it at about 400 degrees. What's the risotto doing, Frida? It's just slowly absorbing that um, liquid. I'm just putting it in a tiny, tiny bit at a time. Sorry, she's going to hold that while I stir it. <laughs> <laughs> you want to just kind of casually stir it, and when the liquid is absorbed, you add just a little bit more until you have no more. And we are using all chicken broth. We are using three and a quarter cups of chicken broth, but you can substitute that quarter cup for some dry white wine if you choose. Yep, but we're just using chicken broths because we didn't have white wine on hand. Right. And we don't drink dry wine. Nope. So there was no purpose in us buying a whole bottle except nope. to just keep for risotto. Yep. yep, and I would recommend getting a whole carton that's about four cups. That way you've got your three and quarter cup and you have a little bit of spare chicken broth just in case you get to the end and your rice is still a little bit crunchy. We also pre-cooked our bacon um, so that at the end we can just add it in with the Parmesan cheese. What are we making on that back burner, Frida? We are heating up some oil to do some fresh, well not fresh, frozen fried okra. <laughs> not fresh. No, not fresh, no. Mm. Uh, we, we have busy jobs and um, Husbands and Beyonce's, we don't have time for that. We're going for the dollar bag. And it dollar comes, bag of Southern style fine. okra. Just flipping those chicken thighs. It's about 20 minutes left, so I tried to do it about halfway. They look really good and smell really good. All right, so we have the ideal risotto texture. Yep. Now we're going to add in some butter. And then. Hold on. <laughs> Two tablespoons of butter. For the whole thing, though, guys. The whole thing. And then we're going to put in some bacon. And onion. 
caramelized onion. Oh yeah, there's caramelized onion in that bacon too. And then we're gonna add a... Our recipe says a third of a cup of cheese, but I um, mean, come on. Nobody uses a third of a cup of cheese in no, risotto. We won't, we won't start with that and see how we feel. So yeah, we're just gonna stir that up and let that and cheese... salt and pepper. Yeah, season it and then let that cheese melt. Okay, so we are just dropping that okra into the oil. Yum, it looks so good. It's just ooey, gooey, risotto-y, cheesy, bacon-y goodness. And yeah, that makes easily a family of four to six with leftovers. I mean, we're having meat and veg too, so we're not gonna eat a whole pan of risotto. It's really good. It's good warmed up the next day. And it looks like there's like heavy cream and stuff in it, but there's not. There's no milk, no cream. It's just how that parm melts that makes it look yep. just that beautiful. So yeah, beautiful Parmesan bacon risotto. Bubble, bubble, toil and trouble. We're mostly just waiting on this okra. We made it last because we wanted it to be super hot and fresh. Y'all probably cannot hear it sizzle, but oh my god, it smells so, so good. I'm going to flip it and cut a piece and see if it's done. It would not be a weekend night in Georgia without some fried okra. I haven't had it in a long time. Mm -hmm. well, that's a lie. We have a restaurant here called Cookout, mm -hmm. and I picked up dinner from there this week because it's been a rough week for me over here, you guys. And I had a this fried okra as one of my sides but we love it so much and any southerner loves fried okra too y'all so freaking good this is my new favorite way to make chicken thighs shout out to Kim Thai for doing this video because I am never turning back the meat is like moist and delicious without being greasy because all of your grease is draining to the bottom of your air fryer that skin is so crispy Whew, new favorite chicken recipe. You know I gotta show you my plate. Risotto is beautiful. Okra is crispy. Look at that beautiful chicken. It is so nicely done and so juicy and not greasy. I'm here for it, you guys. I'm here for it. So, yeah, that is my plate. Hopefully this is a little better. I realized that there was like a little film from where they laid my screen protector on. So hopefully the quality is a little better for the outro than the intro. I'm so excited to eat. We're going to watch Rain. I've seen it two times through, I think, but Stephanie's never seen it. So, and I'm a huge Toby Reglo fan, as you guys know from probably previous videos. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and we're going to watch Rain. We're going to eat dinner tonight. No board game tonight. But love you guys, and I'll see you for a book review soon.